The war with Ukraine will be over by the end of the year. Top Russian general. Top Russian general Apti Alodinov, commander of Akhmat Special Forces Unit and a supporter of President Vladimir Putin, claims the war with Ukraine will be over by the end of the year, according to Newsweek. Alodinov, who leads the Chechen forces in the conflict, was appointed by Putin in April as deputy head of the Defense Ministry's military political department. During a state TV broadcast with Olga Skabayeva, Alodinov discussed the current state of military affairs and his projection for the end of the two-plus-year-long war that started with Putin's February the 24th, 2022 invasion of Ukraine. Skabayeva, along with her husband, Duma member Yevgeny Popov, was sanctioned by the US State Department in 2023 in part for their talk show where they predominantly disseminate pro-Russia propaganda for the war against Ukraine. In a YouTube video posted on X by journalist Julia Davis, Founder of Russian Media Monitor, a watchdog group that translates Russian videos, Skabayeva asked Alodinov about the slowing pace of Russian progress in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city. Not directly addressing Skabayeva's concerns, Alodinov claimed that Russian forces have made a very serious breakthrough and quite a lot of territory was liberated, indicating from his perspective that Russia gained territory. Newsweek says that he further stated that Ukraine had moved a lot of forces there, most of their units, to the northeastern region that has long been a focal point of the war. This will be a decisive battle for us in which we will destroy the remaining forces and means. After that, I believe, as I've already said earlier, we will finish the special military operation this year. The commander said, adding that we will put an end to it. He said that everything is proceeding as it should and ultimately we will finish all of it with a final decisive battle, which I believe will be victorious for us. Former Russian prisoners who return from the war in Ukraine are danger to society. State Duma, chairman of the State Duma Committee for Family Protection, Nina Ostanina, called on law enforcement agencies to take measures to protect Russians from former prisoners who return from the war and commit new crimes. This is how the deputy commented on her Telegram channel about the murder of a child in the Kemerova region on suspicion of which a previously convicted war participant was detained. The murder of the girl exposed a terrible threat that we have faced more than once. A repeatedly convicted man who was serving a sentence for murder left the colony to take part in a special operation and once in civilian life he committed a new brutal crime. As chairman of the State Duma Committee for Family Protection, I am obliged to warn that such tragedies will occur more and more often. Our children deserve a safe life and protection from ruthless criminals. According to the deputy, former prisoners returning from the war pose a danger to society. At first, these people felt like criminals, culprits, but now they are heroes. And this feeling of a hero will also affect the return of these people to civil society, Ostandina explained in a conversation with Gazeta Ru media outlet. In her opinion, law enforcement agencies must take responsibility for protecting citizens from such criminals by constantly monitoring their movements and providing them with assistance in finding employment. Ostanina also emphasized that deputies should develop a bill regulating this issue. I cannot say when the bill will appear because our defense committee has not yet come up with such an initiative. He only came up with the idea of democratizing the right for these people to participate in the Northwestern Military District Zone. I think that we, the deputies, must also hurry up, in particular our committee, which must protect the interests of children, the deputy said. In the Kemerova region, the body of the girl was discovered with signs of a violent death. A previously convicted participant in the war in Ukraine, Andriy Baikov, was detained on suspicion of murdering a child. Siberian Express drew attention to the fact that Baikov's full namesake was convicted at least six times, including for serious crimes. In 2019, he was sentenced to 13 and a half years in a special regime colony for the murder of a woman. Not having served even half of his sentence, he was released, agreeing to go to war. By the end of 2023, he was captured and exchanged in January.